Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about assessing a cyclops lesion in the knee. A cyclops lesion is a wad of scar tissue that develops in the anterior portion of the knee joint. To assess a cyclops lesion, what I'll do is I'll prop her ankle up into a hyperextension so I can get hyperextension. So prop her up, space between the calf and the table, and I'll just push down towards the table. And what I'm looking for is where the pain is, so I'll ask the patient, where is the pain? If they feel it posteriorly, that seems to be more indicative of more of a capsular type issue. If they feel it anteriorly, so when I push down, they feel it anteriorly, it tends to be more of a cyclops lesion. They feel the restriction in the front of the knee blocking the hyperextension from occurring. How I also will assess it is when people come in after we've worked on their extension for a couple days, they've worked on it at home and they've lost that hyperextension that we obtained in a previous visit. So they lose the hyperextension, they continue to have anterior knee pain, they have tightness in their hamstrings and calves, and they're just not making progress. So in these situations, what I'll have to do is consider referring back to the doctor, consider getting it, have the doctor getting an MRI to see if there's a cyclops lesion. And then oftentimes, people with true cyclops lesion or that wad of scar tissue in the front of the knee will need to have surgical intervention where they'll remove the scar tissue and then post-op PT is gonna really be diligent in working on that hyperextension multiple times a day. What we recommend is 60 minutes a day of hyperextension by the patient uh, on their own to regain that range of motion back. Thanks guys, use this video to assess your Cyclops lesions and look for more videos from me.